Sampling for brown marmorated stink bugs and soybeans can be a challenge using our sweep net, especially when the beans are tall and entangled. Uh, stink bugs, and especially the brown marmorated, has a strong startle response. So what that means is that as soon as the stink bug is disturbed on the plant, it drops to the ground, making it difficult to capture with a sweep net. And the reason for that is that once the beans are large and you're moving through the field sweeping, you're disturbing plants several feet or many feet in front of you, and those bugs are dropping to the ground, and we're not effectively capturing what's actually in the field. An alternative sampling method that we've developed uh, is to actually go out and do a timed two-minute search. And this is a preferred method for brown marmorated stink bugs, especially once the beans are large. And to, to do that, you simply just move into the field, maybe 10, 15 foot off the field edge. That's typically where we see the greatest populations or the concentration of brown marmorated stink bugs in a field. And slowly move through the field, looking and counting all the large nymphs as well as adults that are actually present in the field. Using the two minute search, the threshold for brown marmorated stink bugs in soybeans is three to five large nymphs and or adults per two minute search. Obviously in most fields you also have a typical mixture of stink bug species, including your native species as well, uh, greens and browns as well as the brown marmorated. So you wanna make sure that you're not only uh, focusing your scouting efforts on field edges where brown marmorated populations tend to be highest, but actually going out and also sampling the interior portions of the field for uh, our native species. For more information on brown marmorated stink bug, including the biology and management of, of brown marmorated in soybeans in the mid-Atlantic, uh, check out this publication that we have. It's available online. You can also contact me for, for print copies as well. And uh, this is just a summary of the research, including the time two minute search uh, that goes into how that was developed as well as management guidelines. And all this work was funded not only by our United Soybean Board, but also Delaware, Maryland and Virginia Soybean Boards. So check that out online.